it's not even. Oh, let's accept. Soviet games. Seems very Russian. This game is a <clears throat> this game is a work of fiction and its author's imagination. It does not aim to offend, insult, or discriminate anyone on a religious, social, economical species or any any other basis. This seems like a joke. Any violation of the player's aesthetic sensitivity, active citizenship. Wait, any violation of the player's aesthetic sensitivity, active citizenship, or any other spiritual impulses lie on their conscience. Any resemblance of the characters to your real or imaginary friends, neighbors, colleagues, topas is entirely co coincidental. What is topas? I don't know. All the heroines are of 18 years old and have confirmed their consent in, on participating in this game in a written form. That must mean voice actors. An excerpt from the screenwriter's medical history can be provided on demand. This game does not contain any propaganda or of voluntary or not ending one's life. Holy shit. Not a single mascot animal or human was heard during the creation of this game. Happy reading. Well, obviously, obviously, a human was hurt during the creation of this game. Some writer had trauma. Some kind of trauma during this game, for sure. Now I'm wondering, though, if I can even stream this game or if I, I will get kicked off Steam. I need to Google this again. Let's do another Google. Everlasting. Under or Twitch. I mean, full stream. Is anyone else streaming it? Yeah, they're streaming it. It's fine. Don't need to worry anymore. That's what you do when you're a noob stream. This 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 seems like porn. Mix of porn and violence. <clears throat> I think it says everlasting summer. All right, new game, dear pioneer. You are out. Let's lower the volume a bit, I think. That should probably be fine. Dear Pioneer, you are on the verge of wondrous discoveries. 18 year old some wondrous discoveries. Oof. The doors of the most wonderful place in the world, our favorite camp, Sauvignon, have opened before you. You will remember this session for the rest of your life. Welcome. Thanks. forward. No, I'm not, I'm not a fast reader, as you might have noticed. I'm guessing big. Let's start with normal. Filter management. This doesn't help me. Alright, new game.
I was having that dream once again. That dream. Same thing every night. But it's all forgotten in the morning as usual. And how do you know it was the same dream? I wonder. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe. Only a glimpse of memory will remain of gates half opened, as if inviting me somewhere. Two frozen stone pioneers standing close by. And also that strange girl keeps asking me. Will you come with me? Come? But where? And why? Where am I, anyway? Of course, if it all happened in real life, I would certainly have been scared. Well, what else would one expect to feel? This is just a dream. The same one I see every night. There must be a reason. You don't have to know where or why to realize something is really happening. Something desperately seeking my attention. Is everything that surrounds me here is real? That I'm not following along anymore. As real as real as things of my own in my own flat. I could open the gates, the yeah. up. Hear the hinges creak, brush the crumbling rust away with my hand, inhale the fresh cool air, and shiver from the cold. Alright, so what I'm guessing it's a he, or maybe a she, who knows? They are the dream is very very vivid. But they said they didn't remember them. Oh, we're in the dream right now, maybe? I could, but to do that, I would need to pick myself up, take a step, move my hand. But this is a dream, I understand that. But what of it? What does my... What does my understanding... What does my understanding change? Alright, so, if you're in a dream, and it's as real as real life but he said it's the same dream over and over again but let's say let's say you are dreaming and you're dre dreaming a completely different life and it goes on every night like like regular life regular yeah just like a regular life and when you wake up you know it was a dream but during the dream, does it really matter? Isn't it real in the dream? Yes. Because here's it's just like the other side of the crack screen of multimedia, which struggles to fight against static noise and strives to show its audience everything without missing a single detail. The picture's getting blurred. Must be waking up soon. Maybe I should ask her something. Yeah, you should. The girl. What's her name? About the stars? Wait. Why the stars though? Exactly. Why the stars though? I'd rather ask about the gates. Yes, the gates. You would be so surprised. You know nothing about her. Or better, why the dot over an I was called a tittle, but the dot over a J was called a superscript dot? That's a good question. Can't deny that, that's a good question. Nice letters. If they don't exist anymore. Still, what do letters, gates and stars have to do with this place? Feels a little bit uh, 
just a little bit of a stream of consciousness. Because even if I'm having this dream every night, which will be forgotten soon anyway, I've got to look for answers here and now. Oh, by that. There, if you look carefully, you can see the Magellanic, Magellanic clouds. These Magellanic clouds, I guess so. As if I'd ended up in the southern hemisphere. Oh man, I don't know enough about clouds, but I guess. I guess. Ellipsy. Like when you have, I don't remember what it's called, electric seizures? Seizures. You get seizures from this kind of thing. Well, you probably don't, but annoying. In a dream, there are the small things that catch your attention an unnatural color of grass possible curves of straight lines or your own distorted reflection, while the real danger, which could put an end to everything right here and now, seems trivial. It's natural, since here you cannot die. How do you know? I know it for sure. I've done it hundreds of times. Oh, 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 so you forget every morning, and you remember every night. I wonder if it's uh, like a Groundhog Day thing? But if you cannot die, is there a point in living? I'm wondering, is there a point in living? There's always, well... Very difficult question. And I kind of don't want to talk about it with this flicking, flickering screen. It's annoying me, so I will just keep on moving and say that for now, yes, but no. I mean, with this premise, it's still a yes. But like asking if there's a meaning of life, then no, there isn't. I should ask her, she's a local, she should know. Yes, exactly, I should ask her about the owl, for example. I've played uh, for enough time, I know what this owl is. One strange bird it is. Though it doesn't matter. I have to remember when he asks the questions and asks us if you want to hear it all again. Gotta press yes or no, we need to read the question properly, so we don't have to go through all of this again. Still in the will you come with me? And every time I have to answer, the only way, otherwise the dream will never end, and I will never wake up. And I really don't want to stay here, so yes, I'll come with you. Every time it's so hard to decide on the answer, it will be easy. Where am I? What am I doing here? Who is she? And why does so much in my life depend on this answer? Maybe it doesn't. Just a dream after all. Just a dream. Finally. That's a keyboard. Did he wake up? <laughs> Is he sitting in Russian porch? Yeah? Yep, Russian porch. Yeah? Watching uh, anime titties. I guess we we woke up now. <clears throat> the computer screen stared at me as if it was alive. 
Are you alive? Sometimes it really did seem to me that it was con that it was conscious of itself, had its own thoughts and wishes, ambitions, that it had feelings, could love and suffer. Scream? Or are you talking about the contents within the screen? As if in our relationship the screen wasn't an instrument. It was me who was a lifeless piece of plastic and text to light. I guess that's something that a screen is made out of. There is some truth in that, probably because the computer provides 90% of my communication with the world, with the outside world. I can relate. I guess. Anonymous image boards. Well, no, I can't relate. I'm not communicating. I'm a lurker. I'm a lurker. Anonymous image boards. Some chats from time to time. Rarely ICQ or Jabba. And forms even more rarely. Hold, maybe a bit. People on the other end of the internet cable simply do not exist. It seems like this guy is losing touch with reality. I mean, <clears throat> um, uh, I, I, I read Immanuel Kant. Numenon phenomena, I would say everything that causes, uh, like, I see something, I get stimuli from watching like this, something happened in my brain, so I know it exists within me, that's what Rene Descartes said, COVID to ergo sum, like, I know that I I exist, I have experience. My experience is real, right? It's the only thing we can know, said, him, uh, said uh, René Descartes. However, Manuel Kant said, and yeah, his name is Kant. It's funny. He said that uh, uh, it's necessary that there is something outside of your experience. Something gives rise to your stimuli. Like in Descartes' uh, experiment, he always said his example was a demon could be showing me all this, but nothing might be real. Or like the brain in a vat thing. You might only be a brain in a vat and nothing is really happening. However, what Kantian, Kant said was that, well, if you are a brain in the vat, there's still outside signals going into the brain in the vat. It's not all a dream, which makes uh, this story interesting, because they, they're talking about a dream. But he would say, no, you need uh, outside experience. It's the same when you dream, uh, all the contents of your dream of outside things are from things that you have been showed from the outside. You haven't generated itself. Uh, you haven't generated all that information yourself because you're unaware of it. Right? I, I'm, I'm in that camp of reality where I say there is something out there we don't know what it looks like we know that it gives rise to our well we look at it and we get an experience of what it is so I would say they do exist they might not exist in in the way that seems obvious they might not like uh, the philosophical zombie you know there might be an automaton, there might be a demon 
tricking me doing all these things. I might be in some kind of simulation, whatever. They might not exist as I think they do, but they still do exist. It's my take on, on, on this. But I don't think this, in this story, it's not the philosophical, he's not doing... Uh, he's not doing the metaphysical analysis that they don't exist in. I think this is just a feeling. Person, they don't feel real to the person. That is what I think he means. All of them are simply creations of its sick imagination, an error in the source code, or a kernel bug, which started living its own life. No, oh, he does the metaphysical thing. Like the screen is its own thing and it is creating. He does take the Kantian view that uh, the screen is a demon, just showing him created its own life, showing it to him. That they do not have the same kind of life that he does. Interesting. What is that? I can see. Ceiling light. All right. If one looked at my existence from the outside, such thoughts would seem crazy, and a psychologist would surely give me a bunch of sophisticated diagnoses. And maybe write me a doctor's referral to the loony bin. Uh, I mean, depends on who this one is. If it's a psychiatrist or a psychologist, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. I did study some psychology, but I'm I'm not a psychologist or psychiatrist. I I don't know if you've seen Healthy Gamer here on Twitch and on YouTube. I don't think he would give this reaction to this. No, especially not crazy. I mean, there, there are people who would say this is crazy. Yeah, for sure. But I don't know. <coughs> Sorry. I wonder what the image is. Where he's flipping around. Is it like taking a breath, moving away from the screen? A small apartment with no signs of repair or any semblance of order in it. And always the same view out the window on the grave. Megalopolis. Megalopolis? Not Metropolis, Megalopolis. I'm guessing Megalopolis is a bigger metropolis. With the grey Megalopolis running somewhere day and night. Such are the conditions of my life, our big city life. I get negative undertones. Like, he doesn't like it. Like, well, he thinks it's bad. I get that view. I'm not sure yet though. He hasn't said it straight out. I mean, it seems alone. He doesn't meet. Ah, there we go. He doesn't meet real people. He doesn't have eye contact with people. That's unhealthy. But that's maybe bad. Well, of course, it didn't all start like this. I was born, went to school, and finished it. Like all the others my age, all my peers. I was accepted at university. Right. No, thank you, bots. Can I? Oops, I uh, 
well, of course, it didn't all start like this. I was born, I went to school, and I finished it like all the others of my peers. It's big, but no, it's not that big. It's just me who's nitpicking. Picking nits? I don't know. I was accepted at university, where I spent a year and a half trailing behind and struggling. Drifted through several jobs. Oh man, this is too real. Sometimes it was working quite well, sometimes I was even getting decent money for it. Good for you. But it all felt like it was not mine, as it was taken from another man's biography. Ah, it is man. That I cannot forget you. I wasn't living life to its fullest. I was looping over and over in monotonous circles. That I cannot. Like in the movie Groundhog Day. Called it, didn't I? Well, I was talking about the dreams, but we still don't know if the dreams work like Groundhog Day. Just that I had no choice in how to spend uh, how to spend my day, and every day repeated itself the same vicious spiral. Okay, a spiral of emptiness, misery, and despair. Oh, that's rough. For the last few years. That in front of the screen all day. Sometimes there were menial jobs, sometimes my parents helped me. All in all, I was able to prove for myself. Provide, sorry, I was able to provide for myself. No wonder, really, since my needs are quite minor. I hardly ever leave my home, and my communication with other people almost exclusively consists of online correspondence with the anonymous, who have no real name, no gender, no age. So in brief, a quite typical life of a quite typical antisocial person of his time. Yeah, probably. Antisocial means different things in different contexts. Because so far I haven't seen, like, I, I'm pretty sure they, when they talk about psychopaths, they talk about antisocial disorders. And this does not seem psychopathic at all so far. Not at all. It seems lonely. Where it's used. A ah. lonely person of, his, of our time, my time, uh, because I can relate to quite a few bits. But I think a lot of us can. Donnie Darko, yeah. <laughs> On a minor scale without doomsday related visions. Ah. Maybe some highly respected author will write a novel about me. Oh, that's meta. And it will become a contemporary classic of modern literature. This delusions of grandeur, because delusions of grandeur is antisocial. I do have to do it sometimes? Maybe not. Or I will write one myself. However, what's the point of ruling myself? I've tried many times, but I couldn't even come up with a simple short story. I tried to learn many other things as well. Yeah. Not gifted enough to draw. Programming, got bored. Yeah, well. well. Too bad. Programming can be quite a grind. Foreign languages takes too much time. The only thing I loved doing was reading. I still never. We're still. But still, I never would have called myself a scholar. Ah. 
perhaps that was a watching anime master of named internet jokes. I'm not good at jokes, but I'm good at the other things. If I were to get paid for it, I would probably be happy be a happier person person and a richer person too, but I doubt it would fill the hole inside me. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't fill the hole inside me. Let's see where it goes. I, I've got some comments. Because this this here got bored. I've been working a lot of this with this training and this then getting bored is not a bad thing being bored is a good thing uh, well depends on what you're doing of course but when doing constructive things being bored leads to happiness in the long run it's weird that's the way life works Today was another typical day of a typical failure's typical life. And today is the day when I have to go to my university reunion. Do you have to? If you don't want to, you don't have to, I don't think. Well, maybe, maybe in Russia or wherever this is taking place. Frankly speaking, I really didn't want to. Was the point the time I spent with them was so short. However, I was pursu persuaded by friend. Ah, there we go. My former university mate and one of the few whom I kept in touch. I learned them through the internet. Hmm. Good for you having a friend. Oh, we're walking. Driving. We're not driving, we're walking in the snow. Frosty. That's an understatement. This is snow all around. I'll stop waiting. I never liked winter. Oh? Oh, hot summers are not my season either. This guy is so depressed. He needs he needs to go to, to a therapist. He needs to go to a therapist for sure. Because when I'm in my depressive states, I feel this way. And when I'm not depressed, I feel like every every season is my season. Because there are good things and bad things about summer and winter and autumn and spring. There's good and bad things about all of them. And this is a depressed person speaking. Which we should we should have expected since there's there's probably gonna be quite a bit of talk about suicide. Just not that I see no reason to point out any particular <clears throat> it's just that I see no reason to point out any particular time of the year. It doesn't matter much uh, what the weather is outside when you stay at home 24-7. I can see what he's saying, but I disagree. I still watch outside the window from time to time. And the temperature, there is a difference. And it's winter, wearing thick clothes and a scarf and whatever. I don't think this is called a scarf. It doesn't matter. So there is a difference. But yeah, I stay inside. I like staying inside. Outside is... I don't like the outside. The bus today was running late. Well, so late that I was about to cur about to curse it all. It's Spend my last few hundred rubles for a taxi. All right. The idea of just returning home didn't cross my mind for some reason. 
Yeah. His friend. Oh yeah, because he had promised his friend he had to go, so it didn't cross his mind for sure. As usual, a million thoughts flew through my mind, but there was not a single useful one to seize on to. Useful one to seize on, right? Such a thought that you could bring into existence. Such a thought that you could bring into existence, give a shape, turn into an idea, and put into practice. All right, there were there were no such thoughts. Interesting, or yeah, all right. Maybe I could start my own business. But where would I get the money from? Maybe I could back to working in an office. No, no way. Maybe I should try freelancing. So what skills do I have and who would want me after all? Oh, this is love. I suddenly remember my childhood, or rather my teen years, the time when I was 15 to 70 years old. Why exactly those years? No idea. I guess it's <clears throat> because back then everything was much more simple. It, it was indeed, but it didn't feel like it at the time. I mean, from the outlook and from experience, life, the younger you go, the easier life was. But at that time, like when I was 16, I didn't know what I know now. So at that time, life was at its, its hardest, right? It was, it was difficult at that time. Pimples and sex and oh. hormones and, you know, <clears throat> all that rough, rough stuff. So being a teenager, teenager was much more simple from from a grown-up's perspective, but it was not simple. It was more simple, but it was not simple. It was easier to make decisions, so complicated now and so simple then. Man, what's that called? In Swedish, we have a word for it, decision anxiety. Maybe it's just called that, but it's it's like a, it's its own thing. It's commonly used, decision anxiety, that word. Well, the two words put together, I suppose. So complicated now, so simple then. That can also be, I wanna, don't want to talk to the author, uh, well, for the author, but I, I know, and I don't want to talk about this for me as well, I don't remember, I think it feels like my decisions are more complicated now. Well, they are, because they have, they have more heft to them, they have more consequences. Interesting. Waking up in the morning, I knew exactly how my dad was going to pass. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that. And I was always eagerly looked forward to the weekend. Then I could get some rest and have time for the things I liked. Computer, football, going out with friends. Getting drunk. And then at the beginning of the next week, I'd take up my studies again. Back then, there were no such worrying questions like why, who needs it, what will change if I do it, or what will not change. Well, I can't agree with these three. Why? I thought there was like a lot of why for teenagers. That's what I recall now. Simple lifestyle, so casual for any normal person, and so odd to myself today. Careless childhood age. It was also then I met my first love. Hmm? Her appearance and personality have 
banished from my memory. That's rough. Don't remember your first love from... Oh. They weren't dating. It was love from a distance, probably. Only her name remains like a brief line from the social network wall network profile, along with the feelings which overwhelmed me when I was with her. Affection, tenderness, the desire to care for her and protect her, sadly didn't last long. Today I can hardly imagine something like that happening. Yeah, it changes. It changes. I would probably like to meet a girl, but I don't know how to start a conversation, what on earth to discuss, and how to attract her. This here is... <clears throat> I recognize this because this is uh, emotionally stunted. You see, you can see it in this word here. I don't know how old he is, but he's looking back to it, so he's got to be... and it's... he's at least 23. So he still has some growth to do. And I'm like 10 years older, probably. This here. Gotta start thinking about them as women, because that's what they are. Women, when we're 23 plus, girl doesn't really... I'm not a boy anymore, you're not a boy anymore. You're a man now. That's the issue. That's one of the issues you have. But I don't know how to start the conversation. Well, Google can tell you, I guess. But that's that's me being being rude because that's not the thing I get from this. I think it's the emotional bit. I have I'm having trouble as well talking with strangers, looking at a stranger in the eye start talking to them and being an attractive person. Oh, shit, that's wrong. Well, I haven't met any suitable girls for a long time. No wonder you haven't met any people for a long time. Where could I meet one anyway? The library. If you like reading, meet someone in the library. The sound of an ending brought me back to reality. Oh, these were all the thoughts you were thinking at the bus stop. I wonder if it's a thought spiral. It had a little bit. I have had thought spirals. Felt a little bit like it, I suppose. The sound of an engine brought me back to reality. I was pulled over. There was something abnormal about it, though. Uh, I thought. Then again, it doesn't matter. Only the 410 runs this route. Paintings, pictures, are they painting? Are they called paintings when it's digital art? They're good looking, I like them. I like the art style. The street light passed me by as if the, their cold lights spark inside me, trying to ignite feelings long dead. Or maybe not ignite, just awaken them, because those feelings that they have been living in in me for a long time, slumbering and waking up again. The driver's radio was playing some very familiar tune, but I wasn't listening to it. I was watching the cars passing by through the fog up windows. Because people are always rushing somewhere, chasing something and they need, stuck in their own living words, worlds. Why would they care about mine? Yeah probably have their own serious problems. Maybe they have much easier lives. Some do, some don't. You can't know for sure since all people are different. Yeah? Or are they? 
depends on your metrics. Sometimes someone's actions can be easily predicted, but if you try to look inside his soul, you will only see impenetrable darkness. The bus was approaching downtown and my thoughts were interrupted by the bright city lights. Hundreds of billboards, thousands of cars, millions of people. I watched this light show and somehow got terribly sleepy. Mm. Now going to the end of the road, I end up blind. My eyes closed for just a moment and then... Oh, are we back in the dream? Intro song. Nice. I really don't hope that the vibes we get at the cure for depression is having a harem. Or that girls are solving emotional and psychological issues are done by having a harem. That's not how it works. You solve them from the inside. Be the psychiatrist, dude. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe, though. It might be... I'm just spitballing here. His descent into... Um, catatonia. Is that what it's called? Not that, like... Apathy, where you... Suddenly don't... People can't contact you anymore, you just check out of reality and live in a, in a dream space. Maybe. We'll see, it's quite interesting. Changed images. Bright daylight struck my eyes. At first I didn't pay attention as I wasn't fully awake yet. On their own, my legs carried me towards the door. Bam! Looks like I fell asleep and missed my stall. There was no door. I looked around the bus and realized it wasn't a good old worn out in the ass. Cheap bus, I guess. Instead, the bus was an Icarus model, a new one. I froze in shock. How? What? Am I dead? Have I been kidnapped? No, I must be dead. I patted myself down feverishly, slapped myself painfully in the face a few times, banged my forehead on the back of one of the bus seats. It's clear I'm either I'm still alive or you can still feel pain when you're dead. Hmm. But how could this happen? Maybe I slept for too long and ended up at the bus depot. And then what? Did they put me on another bus? rushed out and took a look around. Didn't he say that there were no doors? Oh, never mind. Greenery wherever I looked. Tall grass on the roadside, trees, flowers. Summer. But how? It was winter just a moment ago. My head was aching unbearably, as if it was going to explode. Slowly I began to remember Oh, is he remembering the dream now? 
good looking eye. This is beautiful. The long road running up to into the distance, forest, plains, fields, lakes and forests again. I think I was sleeping, but then how can I remember all of it? And then? Yeah. Some girl leaning over to me. She softly whispered something into my ear. Then a gap again. And then I woke up here. Who was that strange girl? Was she just a dream? For some reason, thinking about her made me feel better and calmed me down a little bit. I felt warmth all over coming from the inside. Could it be her who brought me here? Then I need to find her. The best place to look for her is away from here. Hmm. I rushed to the left, then to the right. Then I stopped hesitating over where to go. Finally, I ran in the direction from, the, from which the bus had probably came. Physical exercise does refresh one's mind, but mine. Thoughts become clearer and it gets a little easier to evaluate the surrounding reality. Not in my case, however. <laughs> I was sitting on the roadside, wheezing and trying to ease my sore throat by gulping breaths of hot air. In any case, and the run did its job. The fear withdrew for a while. Hmm. Maybe I am just dreaming. Though recalling, though recalling my self-harm on the bus, I immediately rejected the idea. What self harm? Did I miss something? I probably missed something. Oh, I had a good idea right, right about now. Ooh. It's called semen. Right. Wow, it's called seam. Simeon. Sorry, I'm probably butchering that name. It's my dirty mind, I think. A narrow road ran through the field and far into the distance. Exact same road from my dream. I must be very far from, from home. And it's not just that it was winter yesterday and summer now. It's the whole environment. Of course, summer is usually like this, green and hot. But here everything is not entirely lifelike. Everything looks like it was taken from paintings of Russian landscape artists of the 19th century. The grass is just too lush and the bushes are not what the bushes should be. They are so thick that you can't see uh, anything through them, like tree tops, honestly. And the trees themselves forest was quite far away, the trees looks, looked as if they had closed their ranks and were just now just waiting for the order to advance onto the fields and plains. I caught my breath and looked at the bus, which was now barely visible when he ran. This was a good run, yeah. Fear overtook me, overtook me once again. Those power lines. There must be people here. Was there? Well, if you're in real life, then yeah, the bus is a dead giveaway. But what does it mean? In fact, that means nothing at all. Could they have power lines even in hell? Oh, all right. He's questioning his state of life if he's dead or alive. Oh, right. I'm yawning. Sorry. Breathe more, I think. Roasting sinners of hot coals. That's the last century. Yep. 
must have reached the point of no return, after which you could either lose your mind completely or finally try to understand what is going on. And while, I'll still, why, uh, while I still have a choice, I should pick the second option. Oh, I can get that. Slowly headed back to the bus. Of course it will scare. But I'm not likely to find an answer in the fields or the woods. And this wretched bucket of bolts is the only kind of link that I have with the real world. Oh. I remember this picture. And it's 410. I should carefully scout the area. So, it's owl. Oh, the owl is not here. A brick wall and its gates crowned with sovereign neck signs. A brick wall and its gates crowned with a sovereign yoke sign. Statues of pioneers standing on either side, and a road sign nearby showing the bus, bus route number 410. And the trip is taking a bit too long today. It's marked. A person may start acting inappropriately, even in pro inappropriately in extreme situations. Something like that is probably happening to me right now. This place didn't look abandoned at all. No rust on the gates. No damage to the walls. Sauvignoc. Mental owl. Something. What could have a name like that? Judging by the pioneer statues, it could be a kid's summer camp. Yeah. Moreover, it, it appears to be open. Of course, the simplest explanation, logically speaking, explains nothing at all. Strange girl, the Alton bus, summer, pioneer camp. Thousands of theories went through my mind instantly. From alien abduction to lethargic sleep, from hallucination to time and space, to a time and space shift. These are hypotheses. Think. None was, of, uh, was worse than any other, but there were really no way to pick a single one. Then it occurred to me, I can try to make a phone call. There we go. Now he's doing theory crafting. I took out my cell phone and dialed the first number from my contact list. Nope, but instead of signals, signals straight apart, the screen was shown a thick cross. All right, I mean, there may be no sign of it in such a remote place. Though I cannot be the only one who came here. Buses don't drive themselves. Indeed. I examined the bus from all sides to make sure it wasn't a... Uh, a hallucinous hallucination. Oh, I'm starting to get tired from reading. Bits of dirt on the bottom, some rust here and there. Faded paint and worn out tires. No, this is definitely an ordinary Icarus. Yeah, exactly the kind of bus which takes you to places beyond your understanding if you carelessly fall asleep. All these buttons are. Is that a saving button? Kind of need to take a break from reading. Yeah, save. Save game. Let's make two save slots just in case. Day one. Is this? Oh, we can do many saves if we want to. Settings back. That will save, right? Yeah, right. What is this? The eye? Oh, if I want to just look at the picture. Oh, that's. Main menu. Oh, okay. No, oh, no. And load game. So let's do exit for now. Yes.
think I forgot to switch my what I was playing. Yeah, still says I'm playing outpost. So let's do one more outpost. 